my math 30s. This video is going to be part two of lesson two and in this video we're going to finish up radicals. In part one we looked at vertical asymptotes and that was that comes from the denominator of the graph because the denominator can never be equal to zero. The graphs though in lesson one all had horizontal asymptotes and in this lesson or this part it's going to explain how to get the horizontal asymptotes. So there's three cases that you need to remember and I recommend writing these three on a study sheet uh, because these have to be memorized. So here's the first case here. So this is how we're going to determine the horizontal asymptote from looking at the equation of the function. So it says if the degree of n of x is less than the degree of d of x. So what that would be, n of x, so the numerator, is less than the degree of d of x. What will happen is there's going to be a horizontal asymptote at the line y is equal to zero. So I'll give you an example. If they gave y is equal to three over x, we know that there's a vertical asymptote here, right? There's a vertical asymptote at x is equal to zero. But then if I said, well, what's the horizontal asymptote? Okay, so we look at the degrees. The degree of three, that's a degree zero. And this one in the denominator is a degree one. This would follow case one, right? The degree of the numerator, which is zero, is less than the degree of the denominator. So this function would have a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to zero. Let's look at the second case. So the second case is the degree of n of x is equal to the degree of d of x. So the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. If that happens, then there's going to be a horizontal asymptote at the line y is equal to a over b. And what a is, a is going to be the leading coefficient of the numerator, and b is going to be the leading coefficient of the denominator. So for example, um, in part two, in the last lesson, we explored this function here. And again, talking about the, I always look at vertical asymptotes first, and I say, okay, x plus one cannot be equal to zero, x cannot be equal to negative one, there is a va at x is equal to negative one. But now we have to talk about the horizontal asymptote. So the horizontal asymptote, you look at the degree of the numerator, this is a degree one, and you look at the degree of the no denominator, this is a degree one. If the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, there is a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to a over b. a, I said, was the leading coefficient of the numerator, and b is the leading coefficient of the denominator. So there's an ha at y is equal to 2. And if I just quickly graph that to show you, so it was 2x was our numerator divided by our denominator, make sure that binomial is in a bracket, so x plus 1. This was the graph that we looked at in part 1. So here's your vertical asymptote at negative 1, right? That comes from the denominator. And then there is a horizontal asymptote in there, and the equation of the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 2. So the end behavior of this graph would be y would be approaching 2. The third and last case that you need to know is if the degree of n of x is greater than degree of d of x. Okay, if that happens where your numerator degree is greater than your denominator degree, there is no ha. So here's the example. Um, this numerator has a degree of 2. This denominator has a degree of 1. And because the degree of numerator is greater than denominator, uh, there is no horizontal asymptote. Let's look at one class example and then we will, I'll assign you your work where you're going to, well, you're, you're practicing this. 
Okay, the example that I want to do, I actually don't want to do this one here. Write this example down. So f of x is equal to, the numerator is going to be x squared plus 5x plus 6. And the denominator is going to be x plus 6. If we were to go through this question and you're answering um, the asymptotes on this graph, again, I always start with the vertical asymptote. So I look at this denominator and x plus 6 cannot be equal to 0. The non-permissible value of this graph is x cannot be equal to negative 6. That gives us, though, a vertical asymptote. This graph has a vertical asymptote at x is equal to negative 6. Then we have to figure out what was the horizontal asymptote of this graph. So I look at the degree of the numerator, and the degree of the numerator is a 2. I look at the degree of the denominator, and the degree of the denominator is 1. So what's happening here is degree of numerator, so the degree of n of x, is greater than degree of, um, d, of d of x, sorry. So n of x, the numerator, is greater than the denominator. What that means is this would be case 3, and therefore there would be no horizontal asymptote on this graph. And then you've done your vertical asymptotes, you stated your non-permissible value, and your horizontal asymptote. I want you to do questions 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I will do one with you. Let's do C together for number four. Okay. What you always want to make sure, you want to make sure your um, degree or your polynomials are written in descending order of x, right? x squared, x to the one, x to the six. Um, this is not written in descending order of x, so I'm going to rewrite this. f of x is equal to, the numerator is 4x, and the denominator is negative 4x plus 1. The reason why I want to do this is because it's going to help me to easier, like, to look at this and see the degree of numerator and denominator. Okay, let's figure out our non-permissible values. This denominator can never be equal to 0. x could not be, the non-permissible value of this graph is 1 over 4. The two negatives would cancel to make a positive. That gives me a vertical asymptote. The vertical asymptote on this graph is at the equation of x is equal to 1 over 4. That's the vertical asymptote. Now let's look at the degree. The degree of the numerator is 1. The degree of the denominator is 1. What we have is we have degree of numerator is equal to degree of denominator. And what that was, when the degree of numerator equals the degree of denominator, there's a horizontal asymptote. This was case 2. At the line y is equal to a over b, a is the leading coefficient of the numerator, which is a 4. And b is the leading coefficient of the denominator, sorry, which was a negative 4. This is going to be equal to negative 1. So there is a horizontal asymptote in this graph. And the equation of the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to negative 1. And then you could graph these on your calculator. And you could see the asymptotes.